Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cammie and in today's video we're going to be doing a huge Kaylin Leather Haul. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Cammie and welcome. I am primarily a journaler and I love to do stationery hauls and today I'm going to be doing a very huge Galen leather haul. I have been collecting some of these products since last year Christmas time and some of these items I've already opened but I wanted to combine everything into one giant video. But if you don't know anything about the Galen Leather Company, I suggest that you go to their website and look them up. I'll also link some videos in the video description. But basically Galen Leather is a leather company that creates beautiful stationary products that I have um, been a huge fan of. And before I get into the haul, I wanted to show you guys some of the products that I use on a regular basis. These are some items that I purchased in one of my first um, buys. And so the first item here is a beautiful fountain pen holder in the shape of a nib. This is by um, Walden Woodworkers, which is in Istanbul, so you can tell by the stamp on here and it's just so beautiful you can use it to rest your pens on or if you are writing you can use it to put the cap on i used to post my pens a lot but sometimes ink gets in the barrel or of the cap um, and it kind of stains the bottom of my pens so for my cheaper pens i don't really mind that but i do have some more well they're expensive to me but more expensive pens that i try to not do that on so this has been a really staple in my desk. The other item is this beautiful Tools to Live By um, pair of scissors. It's nicely cushioned here as well. Well, it's not cushioned, but they're, you know, it um, protects you from getting any blisters uh, from rubbing your finger against the raw metal. And it's just a beautiful brass color that um, matches pretty much everything that I own. And finally, I got a student pencil pouch in an undyed leather. You'll see the difference between the color um, once I unbox some of the other items, but this has kind of darkened very beautifully over time. I have a cracker mishap here. My son's teething cracker landed onto this and now it's forever ingrained into here. I purchased some leather cleaner as well that I will be using um, to try and get some of this off, but I guess it adds to the character. And this can fit a few pens in here very comfortably. I usually just put my staple pens in here and maybe a couple of pieces of washi tape, um, just so I have it on the go in my bag. But again, these are the three main items that I first purchased. Once I purchased these items, I was really in love with the company and what they stood for and just all of the products that I just couldn't contain myself. Anyways, um, this pouch is one of the items that comes with um, pretty much all your purchases. I have plenty of these, so I'm just going to show you guys off the bat. One of the really nice touches from Galen Leather is that they include these really sweet little gifts. One is this evil eye charm, which um, in the first purchase that I ever made, it, mine didn't come with one. Um, at the time, I think the the person who created these was having some medical issues so they weren't able to make any eyes and I was kind of bummed out about it but of course I would much rather have that person <laughs> recover their health than get a charm all the way over to me so I wasn't complaining but in my most recent purchase I got one of these evil eye charms and this is supposed to help ward off um, I don't want to say uh, evil spirits but um, it says jealousy, gluttony, and bad luck so it's really thoughtful to have something of a very personal touch and then there's also these coffees which I may make a cup later tonight who knows as always I will leave some information in the video description of everything that I purchased and I will do my best to link the actual product to their website but of course if it's not available um, you guys just have to sign up to their newsletter they're really really good about notifying you when there are um, restocks 
So anyways, let's get started. The first item I kind of wanted to show off was um, these wire clips. So Galen Leather also has a bunch of really nice timeless stationary products um, similar to the scissors that I was showing you. These are wire clips from the Tools to Live By. Um, I believe that's the manufacturing but I um, am not quite sure. Snip this off. There you go. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> I got them in this beautiful bright gold color and the nice thing about this is the shape. So I purchased these because I really wanted to have smaller binder clips to or paper clips to use in my traveler's notebook passport. Sometimes these clips are a little too big so it's nice to have such smaller ones but they are a really beautiful shape and a beautiful color. They also make really nice props for some of the photos that I'll be taking. So I'm glad that I purchased those. The next set of items here are the fountain pens. So Galen Leather also has a collection of fountain pens and I think they um, change them out throughout the course of the year depending on what they have available so I can't guarantee that these are still in stock but the reason why I purchased them is because I wanted to add some more fountain pens to my collection but I will first open up this one this is a Scrix brand 419 fountain pen in the color beige I'm pretty sure I got a fine nib or a medium nib I think this actually comes in just one size I wonder if it says it doesn't say on the box <laughs> Um, but it's a beautiful beige color. It looks like it already has a converter plunger system built inside of it, so it doesn't look like it takes um, cartridges, which is fine. I'm more of an ink person anyway, or an ink bottle person. And this next item is colored pod podra? Pudra? Oh man, I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's almost like a um, darker beige color, which is also a very romantic color choice. Again, it matches really well with the gold. And the last one I got here, I think is just a white, yeah. So I went for a neutral tone and the white is kind of coming off blue right now in the light, but this is also a white and it is the same style with a plunger converter um, system and they should all be the same size but these are the pens that I purchased and again I got them through Galen Leather so it's nice to just have a one-stop shop for all of your journaling needs and finally the last pen that I got is something that I I'm kicking myself over that I didn't get the first limited edition version of this, but Galen Leather worked um, with Kaveco to create a limited edition Kaveco Sport. I believe this is a sport. Yes, it's a sport in a beautiful violet color. Now, I don't normally gravitate to violet, but this is so beautiful paired with the gold. It reminds me of Laker colors since I'm a Los Angeles native. It comes with a cartridge already but I don't use these. I hoard the ink cartridges to give away to somebody else but it has the Galen leather logo. There is another one of these types of limited edition pens floating around out there that I didn't get my hands on so I am glad that I was able to purchase this one. Oh and it also has the Kaweco Sport logo on the other side in gold and it's just so pretty. I'm really glad that I got one of these. Oh, and I got it in an EF nib. I prefer to use the thinner nibs uh, for writing, so that's why I got one of those. Moving on to the next set of products, I have a bunch of wooden Walden Woodworkers um, desk accessories. So this first one is a pen rest. 
similar to the one that I showed earlier, this one single pen holder. I wanted one that could hold multiple pens, so I got this one um, in, I believe this is, oh, I don't know if this is mahogany or walnut. I should probably know, but I don't know off the top of my head and I don't want to say the wrong thing, so I'll look it up and make sure to include that in the video description. But this pen, Rest holds a few more pens, which is really nice. I have a few fountain pens. These are some fountain pens that I recorded in a different video for my fountain pen collection, and I just wanted to test out a variety of different sizes, and they all fit really nicely. I love the look of the wooden um, block against all the different colors and textures. You can't really see it from this view, but from this angle it's really nice. And the next wooden accessory I got is this huge pen block. So I am starting to get to the point where I'm playing around with a lot of inks and so I purchased several fountain pens of different prices. Some of them are really expensive, some of them are really cheap, and I wanted a place to store all those. Anyways, there's a bunch of other stuff in here that I'll take out in a little bit, but this is again a Walden Woodworkers product, and it's so beautiful. The wood is nice and smooth, very heavy, and the holes are fairly deep, so you can fit a variety of things in there. I'm actually going to test it out right now by putting some of these, so it fits pretty much anything. I don't know if this would work too much, but I mean it's better than having it in just like a pencil cup. And it fits my Visconti, my Twisby pretty well, and my Estherbrook. Though they wiggle around a little bit, but since I'm not planning to move this around too much, I don't think it's going to be a problem and it just makes a really nice desk accessory as well. So that is one of the other products that I purchased and I'm just gonna go through these bags. So I think this is another coffee pouch. This is a brass burnisher. You can clean burnish your brass goods with this triple or quadruple zero grade steel wool. Rub steel wool over the brass and that's it. If you want to keep the aging patina on the brass, just apply beeswax. So I have a couple of these, which is really nice. And I think they included it because I purchased one of my most sought after products um, from Galen Leather. I always have seen these binder clips everywhere. Um, usually I see the Traveler's Company one, but I really love the look of Galen Letters binder clip, mainly because of the hand lettering that is um, done on this side. I just think this is super pretty and very beautiful. And then also the lettering here as well. Um, so I purchased one of these and I'm so glad I did. I've just been wanting one for so long. It's really useful to clip down your pages when you're journaling. And I usually use uh, maybe a couple of these to hold things down, but I think this will be nicer to have. Um, and it's a little bit thicker and stronger too. And I think the other thing I have here is a um, ruler. I wanted a brass ruler just to go along with my brass, or I don't think it's actually brass, but um, because this is stainless steel, but the color is really what I was going for. I like the, the color palette. I'm trying to not hurt myself here. This is a six inch ruler that is really beautiful. It's very thin, so this will fit really nicely in your notebooks or your um, traveler's notebooks if you have one. That's primarily why I got one of these is to put in my traveler's notebook and it has a really nice um, head here to use as possibly a bookmark. So I am really excited to try that out. It's got a little bit of um, residue from this packaging, but I'm sure that I can use the wire scrub to clean that up. And finally, the last desk accessory I got is another item that I have just been 
dying to get and um, when I made this purchase I didn't originally um, get the one I wanted because it was sold out so I had to wait for it to come back in stock and this is the walnut um, washi tape dispenser and like I said I prefer um, mahogany mostly and so I was a little bummed out I didn't get it in time but I think they're in stock now so I might try to snag it the next time I make another purchase from there but this washi tape dispenser is so beautiful this is another Walden Woodworkers product what I like the most about this is this lip here that you use to cut the tape is really wide. This I got from Amazon, it's just a simple acrylic one. And um, the lip here is really tiny, so the washi tape does not stick to it as much. Um, over time it just pulls back really easily and your tape loses. Um, the adhesive and so I ended up going for this other acrylic one which is really pretty and really nice but as you can tell it's really small so I am not able to fit as many washi tapes as I want um, but this one is nice and wide and I might actually purchase a second one just so that I can have all the washi tapes that I want to use at my desk and I actually don't think the walnut looks so bad now that I'm looking at it. I still really like the warmer tone of the mahogany. Yeah, I am really happy with this and what I love the most is it just feels really durable. Um, like this is going to last me a very, very long time and I don't have to worry about it um, breaking or anything. It's made of some really quality material and they have some nice feet on here to keep it from scratching your desk. And I am just so excited. I hope my washi tapes actually fit. Um, some of them will, some of them might not, I don't know. But if I'll just put one of these on here so you can see what it's supposed to look like. And this, if this uh, wasn't uh, stuck to a backing here, you'd be able to hold it like that. And it's just so pretty. I am really glad that I was able to get my hands on one of these. And so that pretty much wraps up the desk accessories. We're now going to move on to some of the paper products and then finally the leather products. So here we go. I have several of these that I purchased from Galen Leather directly and also some from Amazon. So the packaging is going to look a little bit different. But I'm going to start off from the top here. So in this tiny little pouch, I have some uh, really small card books that I purchased to go with um, another product which I'll show later. And I forgot what size this is. I think it's B7 technically. Um, and the paper that's used in here is very thin and I believe it's also fountain pen friendly. We're going to do a quick pen test just to see how it writes. So um, already it's really smooth. As you can see, it wrote on there quite nicely. There is a very minimal ghosting, still usable on the other side if you wanted to, and there is a beautiful sheen. So I would say that this is very fountain pen friendly. I hate smearing ink all over my fingers, so I wouldn't do a smear test, but um, I think it dried out pretty nicely. I guess I'll do it for you guys. Oh wow, not bad. That dried very quickly. So I really do like this paper. It's great for taking notes real quickly. And that's probably what I'm gonna use it for. 
Moving on to the next item. So this I know I purchased from Amazon. Now this is the everyday book in the traveler's notebook regular size. The reason why I purchased this is because I have not really been using my traveler's notebooks because of the fact that the inserts that I'm using are not really fountain pen friendly. Even though they work okay with the fountain pens, I really do feel like that the inks that I use just um, perform better on Tomoe River paper, which is the paper that Gail and Leather's notebooks usually use. <clears throat> now there's a whole debacle right now of um, people worried that the current formula of Tomoe River paper is going to be discontinued. I am so out of the loop on whether or not that's true or if how much that would affect anything, but honestly I put a lot of trust in Galen Leather and if they find a replacement paper to use in their notebooks, I just trust that it's going to be of a very high quality just like everything else. So even if they don't have the Tomoe River paper anymore, I think I would still purchase their products because I feel like everything that they make is just so well made. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be Tomoe River paper, that's just the one that I know performs really well. Later in this lineup, I'm gonna show you guys uh, another type of notebook paper that I wanna try out, again, from Galen Leather. Um, they uh, ha always have a lot of good products, so I, I trust them a lot. Anyways, this is their everyday book, um, brand i guess they have a bunch of these handbound notebooks the stitching on the side here is just so beautiful i have a lot of trouble finding inserts for my traveler's notebook that has um, hand stitching and that are done really well so i am really excited to see how this holds up um, through the test of time uh, these are blank pages in a almost off-white i don't want to say it's quite a cream color um, this it looks very very white so you can see there's a little bit of a difference um, and in the everyday books they come with these really awesome um, guides that you can slip underneath your paper so that you can write straight on them and then um, when you remove them it still looks pretty nicely so that's a very nice and personal touch as well I'm not sure if it comes with each one. Oh, it, I think it does. I don't want to open them all up because I want to keep them in the plastic. Um, and on top of that, they come with this, oh, another set of guides, which is so thoughtful. But what I really wanted to pull out was this piece of leather scrap. So I thought this was so nifty for them to include. So you can use this to protect your pages underneath, but the one thing that I think I'll be using it for is to blot ink. I have a huge aversion to getting ink on my fingers, and it really just stems from the fact that whenever I go to tend to my son, I don't want to get ink all over his face, which has happened before. So I'm really glad that they include something like this so you can use it to blot your pages and get that extra ink off of the page. The next item I have here is, um, well, first I want to talk about this box. This is the packaging that almost all of the leather products come in and they're just so pretty and so beautiful. I noticed that the box and packaging has changed recently, so I'm gonna show you guys the difference. Not that it matters, but it's just something that I noticed. But this box is very thick and very well made. So if you wanted to purchase this as a gift, it comes in a nice box that you can wrap really beautifully. And I got some everyday books in the passport size for my passport. I'm trying to use up all of the little cheap inserts that I purchased on Amazon because I have a problem of buying things before I finish old things so I have tried really hard to not break into these just yet until I finish my other ones but same with the previous product it comes with some guides as well as a blotter I also forgot to mention this comes with a beautiful pouch that I'll actually be using to keep some of my ephemera that I want to bring with me while I journal I have a lot of stickers and washi tape samples and just random things that I want to um, bring with me so that I can journal whatever. 
And this next item is the actual everyday book. Um, this is the main one that I think most people see. This one is an A5 size, I believe. And again, comes in a beautiful package. This is something that you can totally purchase by itself and wrap in some gift wrap and it would make a lovely gift. As you open it up, the Galen leather has a beautiful logo design up here and this will, I don't want to damage it. <laughs> All right, this will slip out and it's a beautiful gray cover. So the A5 notebook and the other sizes come with their own different colors, but the A5 notebooks in this beautiful gray. I personally love this size for journaling, for scrapbooking, um, for everything that is more free form. So I'm really happy to be back in an A5 notebook for something. And again, it also includes guides in this package as well as a leather blotter. So if you are thinking of getting your resident uh, journal stationery lover a gift, I suggest this is a really good one because this is um, just a beautiful gift to give someone and it comes with the leather um, sheet as well as the guides. And here is another everyday book. Um, I wanted a leather A5 notebook for a while now and I told myself that I needed a really, really good reason to do it and I decided um, that I have been journaling consistently for the whole year now that I feel like I am ready for a permanent notebook. So I am gonna try to finish up the current notebook that I'm in and I'm gonna use this as my normal daily journaling notebook. And I'm gonna also do some collaging in it and some art journaling maybe. So I really am excited to move into this once I finish the current insert that I'm in. For those of you that don't know, I usually use this Traveler's Notebook passport size to do my daily journaling. I have two inserts in here, one for just my daily journal that I'll be now moving into here for, and this one is a tiny insert for letters that I write to my son. And I'm going to continue doing that in my passport in this size because um, the smaller the size, the less pressure I feel to write something really long and so I am hopefully going to stick to that in my passport but for my daily journaling I'm going to be moving into this notebook and this is the brown color I think this also comes in a green um, this is also their crazy horse leather where it has um, what looks like a really roughed up um, type of pattern on here. They have normal leather as well and some other colors for their other products, but I believe for their leather bound soft cover notebooks, it only comes in uh, brown and forest green. And this is using the Tamoy River paper as well. And just the gold accents on the back um, is just a beautiful touch as well. So it really does make this kind of a timeless notebook. And I'm so excited to be using it um, soon. Okay, and finally, the product that I had mentioned previously is this new notebook. And so in their most recent restock, they introduced these new types of notebook and I hadn't seen this before. I love the way that it looks. It looks like a... Um, school book like a composition notebook almost but it's really thin so I really like that I don't know this type of paper um, I'm sure they mention it in their website but I particularly loved the stitch bounding so that's really nice and then also this header is super cute so it has a, a section for the dates and then um, maybe like a header and then I don't know what number really stands for but it's uh, got a wide dotted rule to it as well so I thought this would actually be really nice to use for swatching inks and keeping an ink journal and so that's what I'm gonna be using this for maybe it would be a nice currently inked journal or something but I wanted to try a 
different type of paper just so that I had some options. So I have this one, which um, I want to say it's this Nakabayashi paper because that's what's on the brand here in the back. But if that's not it, I'll leave the name um, up for everybody. And then I have Tomoe River paper and I have some Rhodia paper as well. So I have a few options. Okay, so that concludes it for the paper section. I'm now going to move into, I think this is my, um, the first set of leather products. So these leather products I got don't necessarily fit the stationary realm, but I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, but before I get into it, I just wanted to note that this is their newer box. So it comes in a little bit of a cleaner cardboard um, box look. This one has a little bit rougher of a design, um, but the logo is still fairly the same. You still have the Gala Leather logo as well. And it looks like it has um, a silhouette here of, uh, I want to say that's a father and son or a mother and son it could be um it could be related to the family that started Gail and Mother but I just love that it's so beautiful I'm I'm just so in awe of the design of the packaging <laughs> but anyways let's get into the packaging so most of the leather goods will come with this card it'll just talk about the kind of leather that's used in their products as well as how to keep um your leather products clean and how to take care of them. It'll also have the color name as well as the date it was manufactured and who created it. So Yusuf is the one that made this particular product. And so again, I really love that touch as well. Okay, so this is the first leather product in this haul that I couldn't really fit with the stationary products because this is actually a wallet in Crazy Horse Brown. And I loved the size of this. I'm a very small person, I'm 4'11". My hands are small-ish and I like having my wallet be really compact. Um, what I love about it is that it comes with this beautiful um and i don't even know what material it is it's kind of like suede but it's very soft and very smooth and it has a single pocket here for your cards and i actually don't need very many card slots because i only carry maybe three cards with me at any time so i carry like a credit card an id and my insurance card and that's pretty much it and the reason why I got these card books is to put them inside of here. And so the one thing that I want to try doing um, more in my life is to keep track of my spending. So I thought what would be nice is to write down everything that I purchased that's not a bill or something that I have to pay for into this little card book and keep it in the same spot as I keep my wallet. And I will also be putting a pocket pen into here, which is a cute little um, pen holder. And I think it can fit, well, I'm not gonna try one of those ones. But I have a pocket pen here and I'm gonna try to slip it in. And it fits very nicely it's a little stiff but i i think that's just part of this being a brand new item and it just looks so beautiful so compact i can throw this into a purse and or a diaper bag and i'll have my cards and a little notebook with me whenever i need it and like i said i couldn't choose between having um a brown or the forest green and forest green is actually my favorite color but as far as like an everyday journaling item i didn't know if i would like having forest green as a journaling item but i would definitely get it as a wallet so i couldn't choose between the two so i bought them both <laughs> Um, but this one I knew I was going to really love and I actually have already used it. Um, that's why it's a little bit uh, worn out. 
Um, I just packaged it back up to put into here, but this is engraved with my initials on here, and it is so pretty. I didn't use it too much. I used it on a couple of trips and put it back into the box so that I could unbox it for this haul. But as you can tell, it's a beautiful color. This is the Crazy Horse Forest Green and the Crazy Horse Brown. Um, let me take off both of these sleeves and compare it side by side. And what's also really nice about it is the zipper is really heavy duty so it makes opening and closing it really easy and I feel like it would last the test of time. And there's also the Galen Leather logo um, stamped onto the back as well. So again, two very beautiful products. And finally, part of the new release or the most latest release is this uh, beautiful wallet. Now I definitely couldn't resist getting something like this um, for when I do need something that holds more cards. So if I needed to bring all my cards with me, say I'm traveling, I have something that is very compact and has several slots for a bunch of other things like business cards. And what I really like is this billfold inside of here. It's already folded, which is perfect because I don't ever really need to have my bills long so I like having this pocket in here and this cute little um, pocket for your coins is a very nice touch and again it's a very soft um, fuzzy material used to line it and I was torn between getting this in the uh, I think honey ochre color or a brown but I decided on the smoky Crazy Horse Smoke because this is actually the first color that I fell in love with when I was in my gray, black and white phase. So I definitely wanted to add another Crazy Horse Smoke, smoky leather product to my collection. Okay, so here is probably one of the chunkiest parts of this haul. I recently started hoarding a bunch of fountain pens and I did so because I purchased a Galen Leather um, zipper pen case that I wanted to fill up and I kind of went overboard and got more pens than that particular zipper case could hold and so I bought more pen cases because that's the logical thing we do, right? <laughs> Anyways, this is one of their newer products, as you can tell based on the different packaging. But this is a, a their Duo Slim Pen Case in Honey Ochre. I just adore this color. The lighting here doesn't do it really any justice, so I hope that I can get some better shots later um, and intersplice it with the footage. But as you can tell uh, on the outside, it looks kind of like a muted tan color and the crazy horse um, texture is just so beautiful and inside you have this beautiful bright honey golden honey color with two um, pen loops that you can fit two pens in so I'm gonna try my Visconti and that hugs it very nicely I just need to flip the pen clip to the side and I will try my Esterbrook SD which is a little bit long so I would suggest being very careful when you use a longer pen while it does fit you don't want to um, scratch it at all with the zipper and I just love this beautiful pen case. I can throw this into my bag. I will probably do that right after this video and put my two favorite pens in here, which I honestly couldn't tell you what my two favorite pens are yet. <laughs> so that is the first pen case that I wanted to show you guys. Again, this is one of their newer products, so it's probably in their shop still right now if they haven't sold out. And the next item here is their molded pen case. So this is the undyed leather that I was talking about. These are for pocket pens. Specifically, I think um, this will fit the Kawakos, but I think it could also fit these as well. Um, I wonder if this still, oh, this might be a little too tall. So maybe the Kawakos are a better fit 
for this but it's a molded pen case and then it's also got a hard backing as well a hard flat backing which makes it a beautiful very vintage type um, shape and I just thought it was super romantic and I'm gonna compare this cut leather color with my student pouch so as you can see this one's a little bit darker because I've been using this um, pretty much every day and it's a little bit softer not too soft yet I haven't broken it in that much um, but you can tell that it's a little bit of a different color and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of Kaweco sports here that will probably fit much nicer in this than my Quizby and yep that fastens very nicely so this lock which has a cute little lock design a little keyhole there which obviously you don't put anything in there you just push and pull it out and the locking mechanism just snaps back into place keeping your pens nice and safe and I loved this look so much that I couldn't help but <laughs> also snag the full size version so now I have two molded pen cases in an undyed leather this one's a little bit darker for some reason I think because I've handled this a little more recently and this one I have barely touched at all and so I forgot to say that the inside comes out as well so you have a little pen holder and you can slide it in and it keeps your pens nice and tucked away. Again, I'll leave a link to all the products in the video description, but I can't promise that they're in stock since I purchased these over the course of half of a year and I've just been waiting to do this video to show you guys. So hopefully if they're not in stock, you can sign up to their newsletter and they can let you know when they are. The next item here is their undyed zipper pen case and this is the 10 slot pen case this was the original product that i purchased that prompted me to buy more pen cases it's a thicker um, zipper and it just opens up so easily and nicely and again this is the undyed leather color and what's nice about it is it's got five slots here and five slots here with a protecting flap of the same fuzzy material that I love so much. And it can fit an Esterbrook SD, which is one of my largest pens. And it's tucked away in there very nicely, so if you needed to fold it up, I'm actually going to try adding a pen here to sim simulate having it full of pens and if you close it they barely touch each other but just enough so that you could close it comfortably and I don't feel like I am forcing my pens at all if anything I might have gotten the flap stuck in the zipper which is very possible I just didn't tuck it in there you go and that holds it very nicely and it's very very compact a comparison this is the a5 size everyday book and so this beautiful pen case is so nice and small I am just in love with it and I'm going to try my best to pick only 10 pens to put in here but hopefully I can use this in combination with the other pen cases that way I have uh, everything ready to go at my fingertips. So again one of my favorite products that I've purchased. I am trying really hard not to purchase any more but the new colors that they came out with with the honey ochre I am just so in love with. And finally, the last pencil pou or pen pouch that I purchased is this beautiful crazy horse brown um, pencil pouch. And I originally missed out on their first 
um, release of these because I really wanted the undyed leather but I'm also happy with having the brown because I love the brown. If you ask me, the undyed leather, the brown, the smoky, the forest green, and the undyed, I love all those colors that I, I feel like I'm having a hard time deciding which one's my favorite. But anyways, here's the pencil pouch. It's very slim which is what I really like because I love having to have all of my supplies that I need, but also I like having it be compact to fit wherever I need it to. Um, and so this comes with a, a pencil or a pen slip, which you can store your fountain pens and you can just easily pull them out. I think you can probably add a few more things in here, maybe like a washi tape sample or some sticker sheets, um, which is what I really wanted it for, is to be able to slide some sticker sheets in here and keep some on the go. Maybe a washi tape card as well. But primarily I liked it because it's beautiful and I can fit four pens in here and it could be something I just carry with me in my bag every day. Um, so this is another beautiful pen product that I snagged and I might get another one um, in undyed leather as soon as they release an another restock. But right now I'm happy with my crazy horse brown. And finally, the holy grail items. Um, some of these I received as gifts for Christmas last year and um, some of them I actually had with my original first purchase ever and I just haven't been able to break into them for a variety of different reasons. But I'm gonna start off with the first item. So this is one of their newest products. It's the new color. This is Honey Ochre in the Crazy Horse Leather and I am just in love with this color. There's something about it that's so warm and so delicious. Very summery feeling um, and I got this A6 slim leather cover because I am hopefully going to move into a Hobonichi for next year so I wanted to have a cover all ready to go as soon as I can order next year's um, Hobonichi lineup, that's what I'm planning to use this for. And it's got two card slots here, which is perfect for mini sticker sheets as well as some washi tape cards and a pen loop as well for some fountain pens. I am never that good using the pen loops when it comes to these kinds of notebooks, but I'm hoping that that changes and this actually doesn't seem to work with my Lamy very well. I don't know if maybe this is just not, um, oh, I was just not pushing it all the way, but this fits a Lamy pen very nicely. So it's just a little stiff, but I guess that's to be expected with brand new leather products. I'm actually just very surprised that it takes a lot of different pens that I've been throwing at it. I think it's just an, speaks to the brilliant design and they probably test these a lot on a bunch of different products. So I'm really happy with this notebook cover. And again, I'm just obsessed with this crazy horse honey ochre color. Moving on to the next notebook cover that I have. This is for the Hobonichi Weeks in the Crazy Horse Brown. I wanted something to put my Hobonichi Weeks in, especially when I take it around with me because right now my Weeks is just in this simple plastic cover, which is really nice, but it doesn't really protect my notebook from when I throw it into my bag. Some of the pages get bent, so I wanted to have a zipper case for it. Now, one of the nice things about this is the front pocket as well. I love having these um, extra pockets to just quickly slip a sticker sheet in if I just wanted to grab something on the go. And it's got that very well-made zipper as well. When you open up the folio, you have two different pockets. So you have the pocket here in the back, which you can use, um, I think, to 
slide your Hobonichi in, but also if you wanted to, I think you can put it here as well. I think this pocket would do really nicely if you take your Hobonichi out often, which is what I'm planning to do. I don't really like writing inside folios because I like having a super, super flat um, writing surface, so I probably slip it in here as opposed to in here, which might be a little bit harder to pull out. Um, but you can also, I believe, double stuff, <laughs> that's the professional term, double stuff the notebook into here so that it opens up uh, flat, but I just don't know how that would work with this. Maybe later I'll do a more in-depth review on all of the products once I've gotten to use it more, but again, this is just an unboxing and a first look. On the left hand side here you have all these pockets for business cards or credit cards but I'm personally going to use them for stickers. I have um, a lot of freebie size stickers like this that I hoard from all of my purchases and any shops that sell mini sticker sheets I just adore them. I don't know what it is about mini sticker sheets but I love the idea of being limited to um, you know, just a, a small selection of things. I think it makes you a little bit more creative when it comes to journaling and collaging. So I like having um, mini sticker sheets on hand all the time. And it's got one pen loop, which I don't mind too much. I personally like having um, more than one because I am starting to use a brush pen often in my journaling as well as a fountain pen. So it would be nice to have another pen loop. But um, even with the Twisby, this is the Diamond 580, it's kind of a thick pen. It still reaches over very nicely and zips up so easily. And I don't feel like the pen is being smushed at all. And it feels so nice to hold. So I am very happy with this purchase. I might get another one for a Hobonichi Weeks um, Mega Weeks because I'm considering moving into a Hobonichi Weeks exclusively for my bullet journaling and my planning, but I might need more, um, just more space. So I'm still considering that. I'm not sure yet, but if I do decide on it, then I will have another excuse to go shopping at Galen Leather. And finally, the three most favorite items. These are my most cherished possessions. I fell in love with the A5 zipper folio like everybody else in Instagram and YouTube and all other journalers, but this is the first one that I ever purchased and used with a Loistrom um, bullet journal, which I will pull out. So this is my very first journal, my very first bullet journal, and it's a Loistrom 1915. And I have a very sentimental attachment to this notebook because this is a notebook that I used to get me through my miscarriages and my IVF procedures and I just have so many memories of writing my deepest and darkest thoughts and just venting about my heartbreak of losing babies and just hoping that I would someday be a mother and I purchased this folio so I can move into it with this notebook, but unfortunately I didn't move into a Loistrom and I wasn't sure what notebook I was going to try out, so I literally just used it to keep my notebook in for the longest time. Um, I just stored it in here for safekeeping, so as you can see this A5 notebook is, or A5 folio just fits the Loistrom perfectly. And I'm gonna just show you guys inside. So on the right hand side here, this is where you slip in the back page of your notebook. And also you can fit an A5 vertical notepad. So like a Rhodian notepad would work as well. The versatility between the two I think is very, very smart. In the center here, you have a keychain which you can use to keep your keys, and I personally would probably just um, take this out and use it for something else because it's a little bit bulky. And this next feature here, which is my favorite, is you have the option for two more pens, or if you have ink vials, which I plan to. Uh, 
use for that you can put it in here or something bulkier in here as well um, I've seen people use this for pencil sharpeners or um, whiteout um, if you have correction tape that'll fit in here maybe a glue stick this has a pull-out um, pen holder as well for four pens and it's got a slot here which makes it super convenient to keep all of your journaling accessories once you lift that, you have this larger pocket here, which again, I probably will use for sticker sheets. Let's be real here. If I can find a sticker sheet that'll fit in here, I will just slip it in there. And you have several card holders as well, but again, I'm gonna use these for maybe washi tape samples or sticker sheets as well. And honestly, this I think is the reason why this A5 folio is so popular. You just have so many different compartments that would fit your needs and you can take as many fountain pens as you want with you and also fit a really chunky notebook um, very comfortably as well. Like I don't think if I put maybe a pen in here and maybe a pen here and let's try my Lamy. I don't think it would have any trouble closing because it's just really well made. Now this is starting to get a little tight. This is the first time that I've had to really kind of push the folio together, but it still holds it really well. I'm actually pretty impressed. I think because this notebook isn't yeah, the notebook doesn't seem to be centered properly. There you go. That's a little bit better. So yeah, this is the first time that I've had trouble closing one of the products, but again, it still does it. This is a little bit too chunky for my personal needs, but you can do it. So if it's important to you to be able to carry all of your supplies, I suggest looking into getting one of these folios. And just to wrap things up, <laughs> I couldn't help but not get some of the other colors that I just adore of Zipfolio. So I got one in an undyed leather and of course their newest beautiful honey ochre color. And I got this personally engraved because I wanted something special to have with me and I will most likely use this next year when I move into a new um, A5 notebook for my journaling. And I am so excited to be using all these products. And that's it, that's about it for my super huge Galen Leather haul. I am so excited to have finally shared this with everybody. I've been waiting so, so long. If any of you guys want to check out Galen Leather, I would highly suggest that you go as soon as you see this video because they sell out of their really popular products very quickly. And if you missed out, you can always sign up for the newsletter. They're really, really good about notifying everybody when they restock and also follow them on Instagram um, they post regularly and often about behind the scenes stuff so you'll might most likely get a first look at some of the items that are coming out in their store also this video isn't sponsored I just really love sharing the products that I'm passionate about and I'm obsessed over so let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this haul and if there's any of the videos or any of the products that you would like to see make a specific video of I'm already planning to do one of these folios because I'm going to be using them quite often and I really want to make sure that I do a proper review on all of them and if you have any other suggestions for my channel please feel free to leave me a comment below and if you liked it of course giving me a thumbs up would really help as well as subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you and have a good one. Bye.